It's a town labeled as the heart of North Dakota, but today residents in McCluskey felt their own hearts sink as flames spewed from one of the community's most prized businesses. When I got here, the flames were shooting off the top and went in the office and tried to gather some computers and records and stuff like that. Brian Larson manages the co-op elevator of McCluskey and says he's still unsure what caused the fire. Lightning was spotted in the area last night and he says any electrical or mechanical component could easily have sparked the blaze, which began in the main portion of the elevator. McCluskey firefighters responded around 1.30 a.m., focusing their efforts on the upper level of the building. Okay, yeah, it's on the right side of the air compressor. Basically, when we got here, we just started putting water on it and after the they got here with the cannons, they could hit the top and it brought the fire down quite a bit. McCluskey Fire Chief Wayne Doctor says the 20,000 plus bushels of wheat contained in the building helped slow the spread of the fire, but their biggest help in controlling the blaze came from other departments, including Drake, Harvey, Underwood, Turtle Lake, Mercer, and Goodrich. Many local farmers also pitched in by hauling water to the scene. If they wouldn't have showed up, I think we would have had bad situation here. This is what rural America is all about. We had outstanding response from neighboring towns. Todd Lasher is one of many local farmers who hauls grain to this elevator each year. He says fortunately the two remaining buildings to the east and west of the main facility will still be in use, but lines will be a bit longer than usual over the next several weeks. We're going to be backed up this harvest now, but uh, we're all going to have to have a few extra patients, that's all, and we'll get through it. And despite the total loss of one grain containment building and significant damage to the adjacent facility, Fire crews, employees, and residents agree things could have been a lot worse. Everybody worked hard and they accomplished what we set out to do. I guess you just uh, you move on. No lives were ever endangered and we didn't lose anybody, so that's a wonderful thing. In McCluskey, Dan Erdman, KX News.